Welcome back. So we've had a little baby parenti hatch. Um, I say we, but it's uh, these guys are bred by my colleague Kaylin and our mate Cam. And um, I just just add my years of expertise and knowledge to the little bundle, and um, I get the joy of seeing them hatch out from the incubator, which is really cool. And and uh, this one's doing really, really well. It only hatched probably two days ago. And um, as you can see, much larger than the Lacey's. And they hatch out like probably four times the size. And these guys will pump on the size. I remember I remember our one big slice, he, um, when we got him as a hatchy about a year old, he was a meter 20 already. Um, so it'd be cool to see how these guys go and um, I think they've got a few more eggs cooking between them so um, yeah it'd be really really cool to see how that turns out and see how many actually hatch they're very uninclined to bite these little guys and um, but a bite from these guys would really really hurt when they're adults because uh, it's uh, much more painful than other monitor bites they've got incredibly strong jaw pressure very large teeth, but look at those patternings, how amazing are the parenti. Baroness Gigantris, awesome little lizards. Hopefully uh, those two will be breeding a fair few more down the track and um, keep these guys and get them a bit more common in the hobby because they're awesome little awesome little lizards. But yeah, this, so this, is, this is what, if you see our one at the zoo, this is Kind of the size he started off as hatched out of something the size of a chicken egg about this big, um, which you'll see because we'll put I'll put those videos in this um, in this video attached on. Um, and this guy's doing really well. He had a little bit of a little bit of an umbilical cord kind of still attached, and that's gone back in now. It only took two days to do that, and um, yeah, so he's now ready and. We'll keep them in the incubator box, which I've got a nice little clean clean one here with a water dish in there. We'll keep him in there for a couple of days and then um, probably a week. And we'll give him a give him a bit of a feed later on in this video too, so you guys will get to see his first first little feed video. But I'm gonna put this guy back now and give him a little bit of a little bit of a rest, but how cool are these little guys? Look at those colour patterns. So many dots. Anyway, um, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Alright. Welcome back. So, um, you saw I just bought these two guys in because um, it's quite cold out there, so I thought these guys would enjoy getting in the warmth for a bit to do a bit of a video. He's going to climb on my head now, and he's got very sharp claws. Uh, you know, actually, I did literally just say in the last video, <laughs> I think the second last video, that I wasn't going to put two laces, having them crawl all over me, uh, because it's always ends up like this and they do chasings around my head which is quite troublesome. Ah, all right, all right, all right. There you go. All right. Okay. But here we go. So I showed you uh, if I can get a second without a claw trying to go in my face. Yeah. Here on in the video, we showed you a pranky baby that hatched that tail. It was really holding on to my neck there. So here we have a little Bell's Phase Lacey. And this one hatched about probably a day before that Bell's Phase. So you can see the size difference in them. 
Now, don't get me wrong, Lacey's are still by far my favourite. They're just so much more to them, in my opinion. But, I mean, Parentis are awesome as well. Goannas in general are just awesome. As you know, we love our Goannas. There's big heads sticking up there, and we'll look, seeing what's going on, and the little our girls just wandering about. Um, now, this little bell's face. Yeah, hi. Claw on the head. Claw on the ear. Um, so this little bell's phase is not from not from these two. Um, it's from one of our, our young pairings, but it's got some really nice colours coming through. And um, it's, it's doing really well, but the, you just see the size difference. That one that we had in the video, probably um, two videos back where I was kind of um, taming, taming one up, showing you guys my morning routine for taming it. That was a yearling that we hatched out, and that one, when that hatched out, was a bit not, like unusual because it was at least double the size of this one. This is a pretty standard size for a hatchy. Um, but yeah, they're, they're super awesome. This one, this one, I was, I took it a day to kind of open its eyes out of the, out of the egg, and we're leaving it in the incubator for a little bit just to, just to get it nice and strong before we move it out. Hello buddy, you're gonna put a hole in the ear or something? I'm wondering about. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video uh, with the first Parenti baby. We'll show you all the others when they hatch. And, um, and yeah, it's, uh, we'll be posting another video up next Sunday. And we might start doing two videos a week. That may be a little bit down the track, but we'll see how we go. We'll, we'll try. At least once a week, we're done up going for, so. Um, how awesome are laces, though? You really, you can't, can't beat a lacy. They just always want to explore. They always want to hang out with you. And, um, well, I mean, being arboreal doesn't hurt. You've got your... Got your big cool yellow spotted monitors and yeah, Asian water monitors in America and, and overseas and stuff, but I don't know. You can't on top of these. I mean, Prendies get massive and obviously Komodo dragons would be cool to get. Um, I'd love to work with croc monitors, which we'll work with one day. But um, yeah. So little tiny baby, baby lacy compared to that massive Prenti and, and we will see how, how we go with those guys. Anyway, thanks for tuning in again, and we'll see you in the next video.